So, how's your view today? I'm currently stuck behind a little box truck semi, and that's okay. Um, my car is not like super great acting right now. Um, sometimes she runs. Sometimes she pauses on me a little. Like we do in life, we pause. Pause and consider quitting. Um, that's what my car is kind of doing right now is pausing and considering quitting. Um, it'll get limited. It'll get inhibited. It will get, oh, somebody pulled off to the side of the road. See how things just kind of happen all of a sudden when we don't expect them to and they open up a way where we thought there was really truly no way. Um, I didn't get to pull out around him because I'm a little f afraid to peg it. I mean, you could probably hear it going, Wee! it's just what it's doing. Um, yes, that was the technical term right there. Wee! Don't know what's wrong. I don't know if this is a transmission thing. I don't know if it's a motor thing. I know that it's a thing. I kind of got this thing going on and I'm not really happy about this thing, but <sighs> she's been a good car. And right now I just don't want to spend $30,000 on a new vehicle. I don't really want to pay to fix this one either, but options. We always have options in life and we've got to do um, what is right. We've got to do what we can afford. Too often we live way beyond our means and that only creates extra stress, extra um, financial problems, extra debt, extra trouble later. Um, we really kind of need to learn to live within our budget. And if, you know, and technically the Bible says, oh no man, nothing but to love. So what if we went through life only wanting to love people and not owing them money? Um, people owe us money even in our checks, you know? Well, they should pay us right away. But anyway, not wait till the end of the week or two weeks. God forbid. But, um, whatever. We do need to be a good steward of our money. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this car. Um, sometimes things in life aren't easy. <laughs> I'm coming right up behind another so I'm not going to pass him either and I'm fixing a turn. So anyway, things aren't super great. Things aren't what we hoped they would be. Um, which brings me to something called disappointment. Disappointment is when we had our hopes up, when we um, expected things to turn out a certain way, when we thought we had the plan figured out, when everything was secure, everything was good, everything was rolling, we were happy, we were good. Um, like this car, I've had her three years and she's just, um, she's been amazing. I mean, amazing. And um, haven't had a complaint one. Um, she has run miraculously good, but she's getting tired. And that's where we get sometimes. We get tired. We get disappointed. We get frustrated. We get to going, Wee! and we're not really getting anywhere. We're just spinning our wheels, doing nothing. We're spinning our wheels, being so tied up in whatever it is that we're frustrated about, and we're getting nowhere. Sometimes we just need to think clearly. She probably needs to be cleared out too. She probably needs a big old oil change and air filter change if she even has one. I don't even know. Um, she needs some help. She needs some clean out. And sometimes that's what we've got to do. We've got to clean out our mind, clean out our emotions, clean out our um, everything. Sometimes we need to clean out our body. Sometimes we need to eat more purely and just the toxins are taking over. All that stuff matters. Maybe we need to clean out our house. Um, maybe we need to clean out our car. Anything you can do like that, um, clean stuff out makes you feel better. Um, clean out the junk in life and um, update things and make things pretty. And, you know, sometimes just vacuuming the floor, sometimes doing anything is going to help you. So sometimes getting outside, stop being cooped up in the house. It's like a dungeon sometimes um, will help you. Do whatever helps you. But sunshine and the dirt get your bare feet out in the dirt um ground yourself for a little while um stop being so busy spend some time on the front porch swing and just sit there i know i know it's nearly impossible we are in a go 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 society 
and my mind will go, 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 go like crazy and will not slow down. And sometimes that's what we need to do is just stop for a little while. And what is it when we stop for a little while? It's a pause. It's not a stop. It's not a period. We don't need a period in life. We just need to rest. Just rest. Put everything down. Rest your mind. Rest your spirit. Rest your body. Rest your soul. Just rest for a while. This car, the way she's acting up, she goes into limp mode is what they call it. Revs the motor up, but she won't go anywhere. She won't speed up. And I'm going 30 miles on an interstate, 30 miles an hour, and it's even more frustrating for me. But that's all she can do. So that's what we do. And sometimes we have to do all that we can do. And that's just all that we can do. So I have to pull over. I took a three hour trip um, a couple weeks ago and all I could do was pull over because um, we were going 30 on the interstate and that's really not safe. Let's get into a safety issue there. So in the meantime, I just pulled over, I shut her down and I sat there for a while, like 15, 30 minutes. And um, that's what we need to do in life sometimes is just shut down for a little bit. I'm not talking about stay in bed all day. Do it if you have to, but get yourself up when you can. But sometimes we need a rest. We need a break. Go camping for the weekend or something. Um, unplug. Stop the stressors. And pause. Pause for, for good things. And then when I start her back up, when I do that, she runs better. She'll run normal. Um, we've got to get back to normal. Do what you got to do to take care of you. And you will get back to normal. But pause only. Not a full stop. Not a period. Pause only.